Beatty and Lockwood class session number three, summation. The class was given the challenge to choose and create from some of the online tools that are available to generate presentations, such as Dippity, GoAnimate, Preetzy, Pearl Tree, Screencast, Time Toast, etc. The sites most visited were GoAnimate with an even draw between Pritzy, Time Toast, and Pearl Tree, and a few other sites not listed above. The ratings for these sites were as follows 67% for Time Toast, 70% for Pritzy, 80% for Pearl Trees, 83% for GoAnimate, and 90% for Other. The scores were, for me, not as high as I might have thought, but after reading the comments and posts, it is clear as to the reasons, and there were several. Time Toast and those who used it found that the infographics were lacking, and a person can't manipulate sizing or color was one frustrating factor. So too was the need for specific use of dates, but people were pleased with the ease in use and thought it would be good for timelines or short presentations. For Pritzy, it had easy interface and template use, but many found it frustrating to watch and did not like the lack of freedom to create or upload. However, some did feel that it is an excellent tool for many industries and felt that they could apply it to their next financial budgetary meetings. When it came to pearl trees, again many found the ease of use to be quite nice and handy, but they had trouble with uploading or attaching information to this site, yet thought it would make for a nice interactive lesson and can be used with many subjects. For GoAnimate, people very much liked how it was easy to use and user friendly. A person could create from scratch or use templates, which made it that much easier. People feel that it would be fun to use or as an attention grabber and great for anticipatory sessions. What people disliked were the uploading issues and choppiness and robotic sound or computer sound of the voices. And as for the other, the people using them found there to be a strong user friendliness on many points but some bumps with searching to create or what hardware it can be interfaced with. Overall, the sites scored a 78% in the rankings out of five. Many gave fours, however, most people had some issues with these internet tools, be it uploading or finding how to make it work or lack of freedom to create or even too much to navigate. Yet at the same time, many of these internet tools that people enjoyed were, for the most part, that they were user-friendly and people who gave these sites a try found that in a week's time they were not all that bad and would try them again or take more time to learn them to create lessons or presentations for their classes. In fact, most people commented that they thought these tools had great value and depending on the tool and the lesson and the teacher, they all offer something valuable and fit the needs for these different criteria. The class made them work, and while there were frustrations, they were able to create presentations and learn from their creations, some using what they produced for their classes or are continuing to work on them for a later date. Therefore, despite the overall score of a C, there is a usefulness and potential people have for these tools depending on their needs their subjects, the time to create, and the needs to those they are presenting.